So definitely long time no see. Ah, I know, usually the same thing over and over and over again. But I'm not gonna go into a rant about why I'm not here, what's going on, all that good stuff. Um, happy 2016. I am a little bit under the weather, that's why I sound a little nasally, but the show must go on. If I'm going to film a video, I am going to go and film a video. So, um, today I'm going to be talking about a few things, well, quite a bit of things, that I have purchased within the past two months. So, like, before Christmas and after Christmas. Um, just beauty goodies. I have some stuff from Sephora, Macy's, um, Ulta, and some stuff that we, um, my mom and I ordered from HSN and QVC. So... Let's go ahead and get started. So I want to go ahead and start with the goodies that I got from Macy's. I had a little bit of gift card for my in-laws, which I really appreciate. Thank you, thank you. Um, so I decided to get some makeup stuff. First thing I picked up was this set of Anastasia Beverly Hills lip glosses. Um, I debated about this set for quite a bit, or quite a while, quite a few days. I saw it and I was like, oh no, I don't think I really need it. It's a lot of lip glosses, but I couldn't, I mean, the price... The value of what you were getting, it just, it was insane. So this this set costs $40, and you get eight lip glosses, so each one comes out to $5, and I think normally they're like $16 a piece. So definitely good value. Um, a lot of really fun colors. Um, there's tons of videos of, with color swatches on there um, of these colors, so go ahead and check those out. But I will tell you my favorite one at the moment is Sunset Strip. It's this really pretty, like, quirly... Kind of coral with like gold shimmer. And the shimmer doesn't like show up crazy at all. So I really like that. So love that. So I picked that up. And then I had a little bit extra to spend. So I decided to get a mini um, Better Than Sex Too Faced mascara. I really enjoyed this mascara when I had the full size. So um, I thought a mini is perfect. Um, for me personally, I feel like going through mascaras takes me forever so I think the minis are kind of really cool way to try um, various different ones without spending you know obviously the full price. Now I'm going to go ahead and move on to the little goodies that I got from Ulta and my birthday was in December so I unfortunately have to wait the entire year to be able to get like all those reward points um, or like whatever beauty shopper uh, birthday rewards but I was so excited with what I got from Ulta I'm really impressed really impressed. Um, I get I, where we received a Bare, Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie Lip Gloss in the color is Birthday Babe. And this is a full size lip gloss. And the color is beautiful. My color, the lighting, I'm using sunlight. So, color is going to be kind of funky. But it's this really pretty kind of, I don't know how you describe it. It's just like a pink nude. Put some on. I like that they have like a pepperminty kind of refreshing kind of feel. But that's really pretty and I, I it's awesome. A full size lip gloss just for it being your birthday. Like, woohoo, I love it. Also from Ulta, I picked up this little Becca Afterglow palette. This was $39.50. And I obviously, if you're in the YouTube community with beauty, you know all about Becca. Like, oh my god, I love Becca. Um, <laughs> my husband's going to laugh at me when he sees this. <laughs> but you know all about the highlighters and how amazing they are and this, this, and that, whatever. Um, but for me, like, a huge pan of highlighter like this. Like, I have one from MAC that I've been using for over a year. And, like, I never even got, like, halfway through it. I just got tired of it. And I was like, okay. Like, that's just too much product. So I thought something like this would be kind of a, a good way for me to try um, the Becca brand, which I've never used. And to kind of have all three of their, like, famous highlighters or whatever. So it comes like this. It's a set of five. Um, it has the Moonstone, Shimmering Perfector, Rose Gold, and Topaz. These are all the skin perfectors. And it comes with two mineral blushes, Wild Honey and Flower Child. I haven't used the blushes yet. Um, Flower Child, oh no, the Honey one is very nude, so I don't know how that's going to come off on my skin tone. Um, and the Flower Child looks pretty. Seems like I would like a kind of like a pinky peach, so I'll be trying those out. But the one that I've been using the most, and which has been my favorite, is the Rose Gold. And I just use a like a little fluffy blush brush, brush <laughs> and just sweep that on um, the high points of my cheek, down my nose, above the brows a little bit. If I get fancy, I'll do above a cupid bow, but I have a hair in my mouth. 
Um, I have been thinking about getting the Anastasia, um, what are they called? The highlighters, but again, that's just, do I really need it? No. Next up, I got the Laura Geller Balance and Brighton Color Correcting Foundation in Medium. I have this in my makeup bag. Ah, I need to grab it. This is what it looks like. It comes in a little compact. Has a mirror. This one I have in my purse just like for a brief touch up because it is like towards the end of its life. Um, but I have been using this. I this is my second one um, to replace my Mac Mirror Life Skin Finished Natural. Um, I just like this one. I tried it. I think my mom ordered something from QVC and got one of the or got this. Didn't like this, but she kept whatever else came with it. I just really like this. I think it works really nice. I can wear it without makeup, like without a foundation or anything underneath. And it gives me like this that perfect kind of like smooth out look. Um, or I layer it over my, right now I'm trying to finish up my NARS, um, what is it called? Tinted Moisturizer. So I put that and this together and it gives me, I would say about medium coverage. Um, but I'm really liking this, so give it a try. Lastly, from Ulta, I don't, I didn't, I was debating whether I should show you guys this or not because I don't know if you can still get this. I want to say no, but I'm going to try my best to see online if there's any place that you can get this. But this was the Tarte Holidays um, little kit that came out. This was $49, and I debate, every time I go in that store, I, I, I'm not kidding, I will spend an hour just like debating between two like items, whether should I get it, should I not. It's really sad. Um... <laughs> Just because then I start thinking, well, I have this. Do I really need to get eyeshadows? And blah, blah, blah. But I don't have any Tarte eyeshadows, and I have gotten rid of a lot of eyeshadows. Um, if you've been following from the beginning that I started my YouTube channel, I've been on YouTube on and off again. But I started about six years ago, and so I've had products since then. Oh, I hate to say that. And it's like I one day I used one of my old eyeshadows, and it irritated my eye. And I'm like, well, no wonder. It's, like, ancient. So I was like, okay, I think it's time to kind of branch out and try something new and I've heard really great things about the Tarte eyeshadows. Ah, So I want to show you what this is. It comes in a pretty little box which unfortunately I hate to admit this. Ah, I'm going to be throwing this box away just because I mean it's beaded and it's pretty but you have a little mirror. Like what, what are you going to put in here? No, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I'm very much into decluttering and not story things. I watch hoarders a lot. And inside it comes with these three palettes. Three different palettes. And what I like about these palettes is that the color scheme kind of all goes together. So for traveling, it's awesome because you get to take eight eyeshadows with you and you have like a corresponding or correlating blush that would go with that makeup look, if that makes sense. So this is more of a cool tone, smoky grays. Um, I love this blush. It's called Bubbly. If Tarte sold this blush by itself, I would buy it. In a heartbeat. It's a really pretty, I don't know, like peachy but warm tone. It reminds me of, what is this that I wear? MAC Ginger, Gingerly. Um, it kind of reminds me of that but has a little faint shimmer. It's so pretty. And then it comes with this one that is a little bit more warmer tone. A little bit of more brown, purples. Definitely a warmer blush. I haven't tried this one yet. But of course they're all like have like Christmas names like this blush is called Warm Hearted. You got Spice Cider, Chestnuts Roasting, Vixen, Twinkle Lights, you know that kind of stuff. And this one is my favorite. It's the pink one, and it comes with more like purple tones. I've really been into like purpley eyeshadows. Comes with all that goodness. So that alone, I'm like, that's really good eyeshadows. Cause how often are you really honestly gonna go through an eyeshadow, even one of these pans, like? You have to use it like religiously non-stop to finish it. So I thought that was cool. And then it has a little pull-out drawer. It comes with a Lights Camera Lashes mini version, which I like. You know how I love the mini mini mascaras now. And then it also comes with this mini lip surgeon. I've never tried these before and I am hooked. I love this. It's so creamy, so smooth, so moisturizing. And the color, I think it's called Flashy because that's what it says. No, yes. But I love it, and it's like this little pencil. It's retractable, so you don't have to like sharpen it. You just, you know, you just push it up to get more. It has like a little pepperminty smell, but it's, it's just really pretty. I'm really impressed with the Tarte products, and I'm, I'm excited to branch out, try some new things. Really quickly before I get into the goodies from Sephora, I want to show you guys a perfume that was gifted to me from my mom. 
And I want to share this with you guys because I know a lot of you guys really like Flower Balm. I, I, I'm really close to buying it to me for myself. But I love my, um, I love Angel. That's like my favorite. My husband gave it to me on our wedding day, and so that's like my favorite perfume. But I'm really close to fly buying flying. Woo! I'm really close to buying Flower Bomb, but uh, the price is just. Uh, but my mom was really sweet. We were looking at perfumes, and she's and I mean we just we just look. You know what it is when you go shopping. You know, like, for the girlfriends or your mom, and like you're trying different things. I'm like, oh, it smells really good. She's like, oh, you should get it. I'm like, mm, no, it's okay. She's like, okay, I'll buy it for you. I wish she wouldn't have because I feel so guilty. Um, but I got the flower bomb, and this is Rose Explosion. Ooh, fancy, darling. But this is what the bottle looks like. It's beautiful row of gold. It's not rose. It's beautiful gold. As you know, I love my gold. And this is just... I'm congested and I can still smell this. Like, it's just... It's not as sweet as the original Flower Bomb. I feel like it's Coco Mademoiselle mixed with Flower Bomb. I can tell you right now, this is not a fragrance that is for everyone. Um... Some people might smell it and be like, uh, that smells like an old lady. But, a sophisticated old lady. Okay. But I think it smells really pretty. I'm just, <laughs> I keep it in the box because I don't want to use it. Since we're talking about perfumes, I want to show you really quickly. Um, I went to the Cabazon outlets before Christmas. Excuse me. And we stopped at the Kate Spade store. I bought some goodies. And I also picked up this little rollerball. This one's called Live Colorfully. It smells Really pretty, very gardenia, floral scent, um, and I just love that it's in a rollerball. So it's perfect for traveling, um, carrying your purse, little ch -ch 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 behind the ear, on the wrist, those essential points of the body, they say. Um, so, just want to share that with you. If you're into perfumes, I'm slowly becoming perfume obsessed. Alright, so let's go ahead and get into the goodies of Sephora. So... Again, my birthday was in December, so I finally got the NARS Beauty Insider Happy Birthday gift. Um, I really like these little pencils. I've been running to try these pencils. I really love the minis of products because I feel like I will actually finish it <laughs> versus if I just get a full size. I feel like I never finish products. But this comes with a red color and a uh, more like nudie pink, and I really really like these i can't wait to use them now, when i made my purchase i had a certain amount of points blah 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 and i actually wanted to use them i feel like i'm one of those point hoarders like i never use my points but i saw this from buxom and i love buxom um it was a little mini uh lipstick big and sexy bow gel lipstick and the color i got is sinful cinnamon it's like a nice brownish nude i'm really digging these so I'm really, really excited. It says exclusive, uh, exclusively at Sephora. So I'm thinking they carry these in the store. So I really like that. I was excited to get that. And then when I bought that, well, that's where my perfume. I also got a Buxom lip gloss in the color Cassandra. And I just love these boxes. Like the packaging is so dang cute. Like I just love it. And this is just a really pretty kind of nudie color. I'm not gonna lie. I have been using this, and I put it back in the box for the video. I also picked up, I've been on a mini mascara stunt, and I've been using the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. I definitely have to say, it does make your mascara, or your eyelashes, really black. It does kind of make them long. I do have an issue with clumping um, when I apply it, and I do have an issue with transferring up onto my eyelid. Now, I kind of have that issue um, with most mascaras anyway because I have long eyelashes, thankfully. Thank you, Jesus. Um, but there are times when it's just, it's just like, I know this doesn't happen with any other mascaras. It's just like, blop, blop, blop. Um, so, would I repurchase this? No. The formula is very watery. Um, I don't know if it's because it's a mini size and it just needs to thicken up. I personally don't like runny mascaras. I like thicker formulas, so... That could be an issue, but I mean, if you're digging it, 
rock on. I also picked up this little lipstick duo from Bite. And I've been wanting to try Bite for a while. And I saw these online. I was like, oh, I want to see them in person. You know how it is when you buy certain things online and you don't know the colors? You're like, am I going to like it? Am I not? Um, so I kind of hunted these down. <laughs> and so I found this little lipstick duo on sale for 10 bucks. I was like, yes. Because I never finish a lipstick. Again, I never finish a beauty product. So I love these little like mini things. So it comes with two colors. The pink color is called Confection. And the orange color is called Marmalade. And these are going to be beautiful and perfect for the summertime. The pink is like a really nice cool tone. Like Barbie pink. The orange is just like a really pretty red orange. It's not obnoxious. The pink is not too crazy. I just... I can't wait to try these like I just I want it to be warmer outside because I feel like I can't wear like orange in the middle of winter the last thing I picked up I was at a Sephora inside JCPenney so I don't know how um, how easy this is to pick up or find but I got this hot hydrators set I've been having uh, really bad dry skin you'll see it on my hands um, on my face it's been really dry so I just been wanting I wanted to try something um, I've heard a lot about first aid beauty so this cream by itself I think is like $30 it came with a Josie Moran like the little mini argan oil that was $16 this so this whole set was $40 those two products alone was like $46 so I was like okay I might as well just get the whole set so it also comes with um, something from Peter Thomas Roth um, Peter Thomas Roth blue green or uh, blue marine algae mask it comes with some other stuff it comes with stuff, stuff from Bolsha Marula Kate Somerville Nourish Firming Mask um, it also come this fascinated me. I was really interested. I'm really interested to try this the fresh sea berry moisturizing oil So I want to see how that works in comparison to the argan oil. You're able to find this but definitely try it out I mean you can't beat the price and for what you're getting. It's really cool So I was really excited and I think this was the last one that I picked up at the GC Penny that I was at and the girl was like I've been wanting to try sorry now really quickly I want to go ahead and show you what I got from the home shopping network my mom has the other two lipsticks but i guess she ordered a set from tarte she didn't like all the colors um that came in there she kept the two more nude colors so she gave me the more red um this one is called garnet and these are the amazonian butter lipsticks they're very like moisturizing kind of sheer that one's called garnet so it's more of like a I would say like a darker berry. I don't, I can already tell you right now, I don't really care for the packaging on these. Um, they're like papery and I feel like I'm weird and it would get wet and I'd ruin them or something. But And then this one is called Ruby. It's a little bit more of a vivid red. So that's Garnet, that's Ruby. And <laughs> I mean, honestly, they're just like sheer like little... I feel like they're like tinted lip glosses. That's what they feel like to me. Now this I'm really excited to talk to you guys about. I know it's just like a... Psh -psh like a switchblade or something. This is called Lily Beth. And let's be honest, nobody likes to talk about this, but I'm gonna come out and say it. I have a mustache and I shave it off. So I'm the kind of girl that, unfortunately, I have fair, relatively light skin and dark hair. Oh well, that's life. So I tend to turn to waxing to kind of clean up my face, deal with the facial hair. In between sessions, four to six weeks, you gotta do something. It's just like pff, garden forest popping out to say hi, you know, and I don't want to look like Mario and Luigi. So my mom ordered this off of HSN. She didn't tell me anything. She's all, I want you to try it. I'm like, okay, whatever. I tried this and literally like I was going down like this. The hair was like fuzzing. Like it was like coming off. And it was just like, oh my gosh, like how do I have all this? The true test for me is my upper lip because I have super dry skin, super sensitive skin. So I can't wax my upper lip. So I've always had like personal little razor. I know TMI, right? But you know what? Let's be real. Let's talk about this. I've always had like, I have like a little personal like feminine shaver thing, like electric. And it doesn't always get all the way down as far as the hair is. This is so easy to maneuver. It's so easy to use. I will definitely link this for you guys in 
the information bar and you just kind of like brush this against your skin shave it down you're able to get into like all the little crevices like up here right by your nose where it's like always one hair left or like down here in the very corner where it's really hard to get sometimes because of your lip structure or like you know you don't want to get too close you just do this it works amazingly for in between waxing sessions it is amazing i just had to share that with you guys because you know what we're all girls and we need to talk about things like this. And the last thing I want to share with you guys, I was really excited about. I've been um, really getting into It Cosmetics, and I was waiting for QVC because I've been waiting because I have their CC cream. I haven't tried it yet. Oh, I'm trying to finish all my prone or like some of my foundations first before I start going into other things and using them. And I've been kind of waiting to see what did what does it come out with. So they had this thing on QVC. It's called Today Special Value. It's like a special that they have all day long for a 24-hour period. And it's like the super low price and blah, blah, blah. It's fantastic. So this past, like, just a couple weeks ago, they had this. It was like their beauty day. And it was called New Year, Your Most Beautiful Skin. It's a six-piece set. And I want to say this whole set was $60. And now at first you say $60, oh my god. But what you get, like, it's ridiculous. I have tried some of these products, so that's why the brushes look dirty. In the set, you get two brushes. You get a new compact foundation. It's like that compact where you squish it and you get the product out. Really cool, you get that. So two brushes. You get the squishy foundation. You get a refill for the foundation. Super cool. I love the foundation. I've tried it one time. It looks really good. <laughs> like it. You get a cream blush. Pretty, pretty universal color. Um, you can kind of wear with anything. And then you get a lip gloss, which is called Blurred Line Smooth Filling Lipstick. And the color Je Ne Sais Quoi. Yes. Je peux le français. It is so pretty. It's just like... It is just a sheer lipstick when you put it on. But on your lips, it just gives you like a really natural, flush, pretty color. This is a complexion brush. And so this works perfectly with the foundation because you press this into the foundation itself. I should just show you because I keep talking and I'm not showing you anything. The color I got is medium. And what I like about this, it has SPF 50 UVA UVB sunscreen. So anywho, comes with a little mirror, comes with a little puff if you want to use the puff. I don't like puffs. You open this up like this. Dang nails. You will press this into the foundation itself like it's this little like spongy texture it's really cool it's kind of funky interesting the first time you use it you press this in here you blend it in blah 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 and then you have this smaller side which is perfect you push in and you can really use to conceal any dark circles any spots that you need covered so that was really nice and it comes with a refill you don't have to necessarily refill the compact or buy a new compact completely you just refill the little foundation and the blush is called je ne sais quoi it's a um, CC Plus Vitality Brightening Cream Blush. And it's just a really pretty color. Just When you look at it in the pan, you're like, oh, it would be a little scary. But when you use the brush, you kind of dab it in, apply it. Beautiful, beautiful light color. I cannot wait to try these. Like, do a full face and actually wear it all day. I'm excited. If you want to see a video, let me know. So that is it with my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'm really excited to try all these new fantastic products. I have tried most of them, but there's a few I haven't tried yet. I can't wait to try them out, let you know my thoughts. If there's a video, anything specific that you guys have in mind, please leave your idea suggestions in the comment section. And I will talk to you guys in my next one. Bye! I'm so happy to be back. Woohoo!